Hi, and welcome to Progressive RC's Electric Power 101, The Fundamentals of Electricity. This is the first in a series of installments intended to introduce electric power. Today, we'll look at some basic units of measure and discuss some terminology, as well as go over the two principal laws that govern, Ohm's Law and Joule's Law. I'm David Gray with Progressive RC. Many of you have talked to me or met me over the years. I've been involved as the owner of Progressive RC for about four years here now, and have a background in electrical, aerospace, and civil engineering. Hopefully you're here to learn something new to the hobby or coming from Nitro, and want to understand a little bit more about these terms and units that you hear thrown around. The first one we often hear discussed is voltage or volts. This is often thought of best in terms of water, and I'll make a lot of similes in this first presentation of water to help introduce these concepts. In terms of water, voltage is the water pressure of the pipe diameter. Current in amps would be how fast the water is flowing. Capacity in ampere hours would be how much water you have. And finally, resistance, which is measured in ohms, would be like restrictions to the flow of water, such as a narrowing of the pipe diameter or rough interior surface of the pipe that restricts the flow through it. So continuing on these basics, capacity, which is milliampere hours often in our batteries, or MAH, 1000 milliampere hours is equal to one ampere hour. And it's often easier to convert into simple ampere hour units. If you had a 2200 milliampere hour battery, which is a common size, that would be 2.2 ampere hours. One ampere hour means that you can pull one amp from that battery for one hour before it would be empty. Voltage is a concept that's a little different for LiPo batteries and that there's a range of voltage. You'll often hear nominal voltage of 3.7 volts discussed for LiPos, which is sort of a middle in between voltage. For a fully charged LiPo, it would be 4.20 volts for that same LiPo cell, and at empty, it's approximately 3 volts per cell. Jumping over into a couple of laws, we'll introduce Ohm's law first, which is voltage is equal to current times resistance, where voltage is measured in volts, current in amps, and resistance in ohms. This is often expressed as V equals I times R, where I stands for current. The next law we'll work with a lot is Joule's law, which states that power in watts is equal to current times voltage, or P equals I times V. It's important here to recognize that power, watts, is really the combination of current and voltage. So that's a lot of information for one time. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, and we'll address many of them in our next series of installments. Next time we'll discuss how watts apply to help you fly your model, drive your car, or charge your batteries, as well as discuss C ratings and internal resistance a little bit more.